So it's time to upgrade the car from HID 100 watts xenon NBB lights and also I have 75 watt xenons in the headlight of my Volvo XC60 and so I have two options maybe I will even use both so I want uh, Osram 48 times 5 watts LED it's about 50 centimeters across uh, or around 20 inches uh, so it has wide angle on a few of these lens so the the wide ones and also these are the spot ones so flood uh, also called you can see maybe on the film I don't know you can see that they look a little bit different the, the lenses and it's supposed to give out 240 watts in total and next to it I just got the Cree version the other one was Osram and this one has 24 times 10 watts and here you can e more easily see that these are uh, the LEDs for flood and these are the spots so there are six floods here and 12 spots and then six more flood uh, on the Osram going to them again we also have only six for flood and all these for flood and six more flood, flood. So spots in the middle in both of them so it will be really interesting to see how this fare when we connect this to a battery. I will just use a regular battery. I charge it with my SeaTac charger, one of the small ones, and I've added these so I can connect them to the battery. And the bigger ones here is for the OSRAM. That's what I have in my drawers. So let's I'll get back to you in a little bit. Okay, first up is the Osram. A little bit awkward. It gives pretty much light, and I would say that the video looks pretty much what I can see with my bare eyes. And then I turn it off. And I'm going to do the same, but now with the Cree. And they're supposed to give. 240 watts each, so it should be comparable. Let's see what happens, and I have locked the out exposure. And I tell you, with my eyes, I can tell that the Cree gives at least twice or three times the light output. So I'm not sure about the wattage, how good it's, but it's this one really kicks. Let me switch back one more time. So, this is not maybe so professional, but bear with me. Now we get the Osram again. Still the camera on locked. Out exposure. And absolutely, this is not even half the light output of the Cree. Pretty cool. It would be interesting to measure how much it is, but I don't have an amp meter that can go that high. So, yeah, the Cree takes the win by far, actually. Okay, so now let's uh, see over a lo longer distance. We start up with the Cree, and again I have locked the auto exposure, auto focus on my telephone here. And I will also comment based on what I actually can see with my eyes. So first up is the Cree, no, sorry, the, the Osram with 48 times 5 watts, which should equi be equal to 240 watts. So it goes. Let's see. Adjust a little bit for comparisons. Make it a little bit brighter. And then I will leave it on like that for the for the Cree 
So with this one it's pretty good light, but absolutely not the best I've seen. Not by a long shot. I have HID 100 watts in NBBs on my car. This is not even close. Okay, turning it off. Switching to the tree. Trying not to drop anything on the ground. Put the camera aside here. Attach the battery again. I don't know how the battery feels like right now. I have been testing a little bit. Okay, now I'm ready to turn on the Cree and as in my previous test to watch my garage door, the Cree gave a lot more light and this is what I also saw when I tested this here. So let's see what the camera says. So here it's on. Oh yeah, this is a much more light. I guess you can see it in the video too. Remember I have not changed the locked auto exposure setting. So it's the same and here this one, this one really creates a lot of light. This is really cool this Cree LED. 24 times 10 watts so that's also 240 watts but in light output twice, three times more than the Osram. Okay, thanks.